to Crimmins. Throws it up the middle. Loose puck stolen by Pearson. Pearson throws it back into the Bruins' own offside. Twice we see Dwayne Sutter take a header out there all by himself. He's playing with a stripped edge. Uh, he's back at the bench now, and Jimmy Pickard at the end of the bench doing a quick job on trying to restore some of the edge. You never get it all back. Jimmy Pickard right now will be stoning it, trying to take the burr off the edge rather than have to take the skate off and take it to the dressing room. From the draw, Longevin fires at Anticles all the way around the top of the boards, and Milbury shoots it down the ice. It'll be an icing call against the Bruins, and uh, the Islanders happily will take that. 10-13 to go. That's a lot of hockey time. Just think back to last night. <laughs> Only 20 takes. seconds remained in that game. Doesn't take long to score a goal. Nope. Harry Sinden concerned again. Team is behind, but they've been there before. They keep scratching their way back. The Islanders have to find that killer instinct right here in the third period. Merrick, Canelli, Howitt, Longevin, and Pearson. Islanders control. Howitt to Pearson. It throws it in deep. Milbury takes Merrick out of the play. Buck is gathered in by Brad Park. Park out the left side. Howitt breaks that up. Park will try again. Fires it up the boards. It goes over the glass and out of play. Face off will be deep in the Bruin zone to the left of Cheevers. Now the secret uh, again is the Islanders don't want to sit back, Tim. They don't want to go back into their own end and try and play almost 10 minutes of hockey. That would not be successful here or anywhere else. They've got to do what they're doing right now. They've got to put the puck in and force the Bruins defense to cough it up, make some mistakes, try and get the other goal. Islanders lost that game last night. The guy who just saw a close up, Howitt, had himself quite a night. That puck covered up by Cheevers from Milbury on the rebound. Screenshot from the point. Stephen Pearson. Right from the draw. Merrick back to Stephen Pearson. Doesn't have to be a hard shot, as you see. It's a tricky one. It took a bounce right in front of Cheevers, hit Milbury. Milbury kind of just nudged the puck in towards Cheevers so he could get a hold of it, stopping the play. 9.48 to go, third period. Merrick and Foster on the draw. Merrick wins it to Longevin. His shot wide. Deflection try by Tinelli. Failed to click. Puck cleared out to center ice. Longevin dumps it right back in. He's got two Islanders offside. Three to two Islanders in front. Tim Ryan and Ed Westfall are delayed telecast. Could the Islanders win tonight? They would not have to play again until at least Saturday. Their opponents uh, to be determined by the outcome of the Minnesota Montreal series. And uh, they would not play before Saturday night. Of course, if they should lose here tonight, they'll return Thursday to meet the Bruins in game six at the Coliseum. Trottier and McNabb on the draw. McNabb wins it back to Redmond. Redmond and Bork defensively exchanging passes. Ray Bork brings it up. Bork's shot into the Islander zone. Bourne has O'Reilly covered, but O'Reilly comes up with a puck and then lost it to Lorimer, handed it to McNabb. The shot blocked in front by Putman, and the loose puck grabbed by Bossy. O'Reilly desperately trying to get control, couldn't get his stick on it, and Bossy slipped in behind and took it away. A close call. Puck right back into the Islander zone. Smith directing traffic. Marcotte checking against Mormer. Down the boards comes Redmond. The Bruins defense has to gamble here now with time running down. Marcotte to the blue line. Good play by Bork. The shot. Wide. Rebound. Centering try. O'Reilly couldn't get it as Mormer knocked it loose. Marcotte centering off. Hot fan. Trottier takes it behind his net. Bossy pokes it up and out of the zone, and the Bruins exerting tremendous pressure. Here comes Redmond to O'Reilly. O'Reilly, good feed to McNabb. The shot, stick saved by Billy Smith. Rebound, putt, and he dumps it out. And this line, the McNabb line, really getting pressure on. Redmond to Bork, a near steal by Bossy, but Bork recovered. Cashman's pass to McNabb, hit the linesman. McNabb controls, 8.20 to go. McNabb shoots it in, Bruins change on the fly. Lane up the boards for Gillies. Gillies trying to get it to Goring. Goring knocks it out, and it comes down to the Bruins' zone. It'll be an icing call against the Islanders, and they are backing up and taking pressure from the Bruins. 8.06 remaining. 
in the third period. Islanders three in Boston, two. Chemical. Brian Trotje and McCavish on the draw. The Islanders with Goring out there in case Trotje was chased, chased from the circle. Bruins keep it in. McCavish throws it behind the goal. Cashman working a second consecutive shift here. Lost it to Gillies. Gillies ahead for Goring too far. Now Trottier gets off. Sutter gets on. And Morrow, good play over center ice to dump it in. Hillbury up to Middleton. Middleton with Cashman trailing. Poke checked by Morrow. Middleton not flying by Lane. McTavish gets his mates on side and fires it in deep. Smith holds it up for Lane. Cashman checks in from behind. Lane gets it to Gillies. Gillies checked by Cashman, who's having a great shift out here. Mark. In deep, Lane stops him, and Lane clears it out to center ice. Milbury, Bruin still keeping play in the Islanders' zone. That goes into the bench. Play is called 7-17 to go. Regulation time. The score, the Islanders 3, the Bruins 2. Boston Garden trying to lift up their troops who are down by a goal. Here's a steal by Foster. Foster throws it to the left wing. There's nobody there, and Howitt throws it behind his own net. Longevin to Tonelli. Tonelli, stick handles away from Foster, away from Secor. Tonelli, still going. Tonelli, the shot at the post. Cheevers never saw it, he didn't play it. It looked like he saw it, but thought it was going wide, and he didn't play it, and it hit the post. That could have been sayonara time. I'm not sure what play was stopped for here. No, it's an offside. Uh, Dave Longevin trying to keep the puck in. Uh, it didn't stay in, but... Look at John that. Tonelli, what stick handling, what balance. Heads up play, gets around, lets a good wrist shot go. Cheevers makes a half-hearted effort. He thinks it's going wide and hits the goal post, comes right out behind him, very close to putting the Islanders ahead by two. John Tonelli. Islanders shoot it back in, and Bork has it for the Bruins. Good pass to Miller, but he can't hold it. Longevin fires it back to the Bruin line. Bork for McCrimmon. Islanders have got to get some pressure in the Bruin zone here. They have not been able to do it for the last five minutes. Tanelli steering it over the Bruin line and Bork right out again, but Pearson has it. Pearson to Longevin. Longevin wants to get over center ice, and he does, and shoots it in. Now Bork shooting it past Howitt, got it to Secord. The Islanders caught changing their defenseman, failed to keep it in. Miller, the shot, deflected high and wide. Lormer, he and Miller collide. Lormer comes off with the puck and clears it to center ice. The Crimmins comes over for it. The Crimmins pass for Milbury. Milbury, good pass to Marcotte. Marcotte with McNabb breaking. The centering pass is intercepted by Potvin. Potvin of Bourne, he missed it. Goes deep to the Bruins zone. Milbury back for it. 5.43 to go. A steal by Bossy, but it's taken back by Marcotte. Now Bossy again to the blue line. Potvin, a shot, score! from Mike Bossy and the Islanders lead it 4-2 to two with 5.33 to play. They get it finally after John Tonelli hitting the goal post. The Islanders catch the Bruins changing this time. Bossy in quickly into the corner, feeds it back to Potvan. Potvan lets the puck go clearly on the stick, lower stick side to the right achievers. It's in the net. The score is 4-2 for the Islanders on a goal by Dennis Potvan, his first of the playoffs. Well, he had a near collision with a teammate there before he got the shot away. And I uh, thought uh, for a second there that by that time, Cheevers would be ready to, to make the stop or that he might get checked. But fortunately, he was able to control the puck that extra second and get a good low shot away. Bossy gets the assist at 14-27. Play back in the Bruins' zone. Now Marcotte deflecting it to center ice. Lorimer dumps it back in. Four to two Islander lead. Some of the fans starting to leave here. Potvin inside his own line. Breaks up the pass intended for O'Reilly. Park to Milbury. To Marcotte. He shoots it in. There's still lots of time left. Bourne. Met by Park but gets it ahead to Trottier. Over to Bossy. Bossy is stopped by Milbury. And the puck taken by Peter McNabb. And McNabb to O'Reilly. O'Reilly goes in deep with Lorimer in pursuit. Lorimer plays him into the end board. Centering try to Marcotte. Here's Park. Park the shot. Six by Smith. Park centers it again. Trottier intercepts and just dumps it out of there. It'll be an icing call, but that's one you want to take right there. 
4.31 remaining to play in regulation time. Billy Smith with a big stop Brilliant there. Brilliant save. Brilliant, Tim. What a save on Brad Park. Brad Park has the opportunity to put the uh, Bruins back in the hockey game. Billy Smith should go to jail for robbing him. He just took it right away from him. He waited and waited until Brad Park had committed himself. Billy Smith stole the puck. Big save for Smith. Big stop for the Islanders. The faceoff now to the right of Billy Smith. Four to two, and there's a little fight. action in the stands. Fight the crowd here. I don't know what it looked like a guy was going to try to jump from about uh, 30 feet up. Here we go. Park to his forehand. Billy Smith waiting. Makes the save. The puck bounces out. Back live on videotape here. This is Bork shot deflected. Saved by Smith. Another tough one. Had two deflections. Here's Gillies with a chance. Gillies swept shot. Big save by Stevens. Coming out on Gillies. Rebound is brought out by Cashman. They go end to end. Here's McTavish over the line. Watched by Morrow. Forced wide. Jumps it in behind. Sutter. And Middleton battle for it. Lane comes over. Good hit on him by McTavish. Cashman has the puck. To Redmond, it jumps off his stick, and they'll have to get out on side. Redmond waiting. Redmond waiting, and now flips it over to the far corner. Morrow, behind his own goal, feeds it off the lane too hard. Gilly slaps it down the ice, and that's going to be on goal, so there's no icing. 3.45 to go. A two-goal Islander lead. The pass from Bork to McTavish went off his skates. Islanders changing on the go. Harrison comes on for Morrow. McTavish to Dick Redmond. Redmond brings it up the right side, now cuts to the left. Goring, Tanelli, and Sutter. The line for the Islanders now. Sutter with McTavish forechecking. Goes back behind to Pearson. In deep comes Milbury. Checked by Pearson. Middleton follows. Throws it in front. Blocked by Longevin. Middleton gets it again. To the blue line. Park. Throws it in deep. Longevin and Cashman go for it. Middlebury pushes his man from behind that Pearson and plays his ball. 3.05 remaining in the third period. Islanders with a 4-2 lead. A victory tonight, of course, sends them into the semifinals. And the Bruins facing elimination. Uh, be interesting to know, or wait, interesting to see when Harry Sinden will elect to remove Jerry Cheevers from the net. There's 3.05 left to go. He's, he's probably hoping now that they can somehow manipulate a goal between now and a minute and a half. Because down two, he'll definitely pull him earlier than normal around the one minute mark if he was down by one like he did last night. Wayne Merrick on the draw to the right of Billy Smith against Foster. Somebody in the circle, they'll do it again. 3.04 to play. Tim Ryan and Ed Westfall at the Boston Garden. Hope you're enjoying Stanley Cup doubleheader action tonight on Channel 9. Merrick and Foster. Islanders control. Longevin to Pearson. Pearson to Merrick. It jumped off his stick and Milbury sweeps, sweeps it over to Secord. Secord lost control of it. Gets help from Cheevers. 2.49 to play. Secord to Miller. Checked by Howitt. And Merrick has the puck to the open wing for Tonelli. And it hit the referee's skates. Tonelli controls it back to Longevin to Pearson. Now the Islanders passing it well. Tinelli over center right, pulls it in and goes through Miller. John Tinelli is unbelievable. He just motors through whatever's there to get the puck into the offensive zone. Now Howitt shoots it in. Park. Out for the Bruins to Foster to Miller. Stolen away by John Tinelli and Potvin gets it to Lormer. Lormer's pass too far for Merrick. Park for Secor, 2-10 to play. Secor. Behind Foster with a pass. Off the boards, Foster recovers. Now checked by Bourne. Bourne lost his stick. Mara can't get past Park. Park comes up with a puck to Foster. Checked by Bourne. Mara and Bourne collide with each other. Miller got a high stick into Bourne. Bourne intercepts the pass intended for Foster. And the puck cleared to center ice. Bourne to Miller who slaps it in with 1.40 remaining in the third period. Bruins change on the fly. Potvin of Bourne. O'Reilly took a run at Potvin, missed him. Brochier gets it over the Bruin line. Redmond for Bork to O'Reilly. 
O'Reilly flips it in. The goaltender's still in with 125 to play. Lorimer, he's checked. Marcotte trying to center, but Trottier stopped him. Bossy for Bourne. Got a task. Redmond out, out, uh, out to center ice where McNabb gives it to Bork with 110 to go. McNabb shooting it in. Marcotte over there is checked by Bossy doing a good defensive job on this ship. Trottier gets it down to the Bruin zone, and the Islanders are less than a minute from moving to the semifinals. Cheever's still in the net. It's shot in by Bork. Hot fan in the corner with McNabb and O'Reilly in pursuit. O'Reilly and Gilly scrap for it, but Billy Gilly's got it down to the Bruin zone. 40 seconds left. An icing call against the Islanders. No signal from Harry Sinden yet. Timeout, he'll probably call. Probably call. Yes, there it is. A signal for timeout called by Harry Sinden. And uh, they'll have a face-off in the Islander zone. They need two goals to force overtime. They have 40 seconds left to do it. And the timeout has been called by the Boston Bruins. So Al Arbor will get his defenses ready here for the final surge by the Gallant Bruins, who staved off defeat last night at the Coliseum with an overtime victory. But here tonight, the Gallant New York Islanders down 2-0, scoring four unanswered goals to take the lead in this game. One in the second period, three here in the third. Interesting enough, uh, Harry Sinden elected not to play a couple of his players. Rick Smith, uh, I think, saw one shift, uh, maybe two, for Jonathan, and Winsick did not play at all. Now, last night, he did the same thing with Winsick and Jonathan. I think in playoff hockey, where the possibility of overtime exists, you have to question a coach dressing players that he's not going to skate. He elected to uh, sit out uh, Bobby Lalonde and Gary Doak. Of course, Armatel is hurt, but... Uh, uh, you know, with the, the, the tension and the possibility of overtime, uh, most coaches believe in using all of the legs they've got. Well, uh, that's true. And when they have back-to-back -back games like they've just had, uh, generally they like to get as many players playing as possible uh, just for no other reason in the latter part of a game like this than to give the, the, the players that have been playing a, a lot a little more time off so that the last few minutes they have something in reserve. All right, they've got Cheevers out now, and Brad Park will be the guy they'll try to get the puck to. He's moved over to the top of the circle, just in the left of your screen there. He's off the top of the circle. McTavish, their top face-off man, will take the draw. Somebody threw some debris out there. And yeah, they'll keep that up all night now. I mean, they just, you know, they just want to, they want to be able to go home and say, I held up the game. <laughs> they've got uh, O'Reilly, Secord, Bork, Marcotte, McTavish, and Park. Six attackers, and the Bruins get the puck. Park throws it in deep to Marcotte. Checked by Morrill. Morrill, Secord, Marcotte, and Trottier. And play is called. 30 seconds remaining. Face off again to the left of Billy Smith. 30 seconds to go. The Islanders, who appear, uh, will win this game. Will not know their semifinal opponent until the conclusion of the Minnesota-Montreal series. Joe Torrey standing in the alleyway across behind the Boston Bruins bench, waiting to congratulate his team as they head for the bench as soon as this 30 seconds can be played. There's quite a bit of stuff on the ice now uh, thrown by uh, some unthinking fans or those who think crookedly. Now there's three that just went in, not more than enough to win. <laughs> Bruins get it again. Park lets it fly. Tip in try. O'Reilly wide to high. Secord trying to get control. Centering pass blocked by Morrill. The next shot wide. Secord centering pass. Loose in front. Bourne has it. Can't get it out. Bork lets fly. It hit Trottier. Park has it. Park trying to get it in front. Blocked by Morrill. Tries again. Marcotte tries. Cleared by Morrill. Still loose. Finally cleared out by the Islanders. Two seconds left. And that'll be it. The game is over. The New York Islanders with a four-goal comeback defeat the Bruins 4-2. And they will move on to the semifinals against either Philadelphia or the Buffalo Sabres, depending on the outcome of the Bruin, of the Minnesota-Montreal series. And uh, now the traditional Stanley Cup handshake 
by the number of fans uh, getting out on the ice, which uh, isn't uh, too healthy for anybody concerned. The players uh, shaking hands, and certainly the Bruins to be commended for their win last night. They were down three games to none. And the Islanders to be commended tonight for coming right back into Boston, going down 2 nothing early, and having the fortitude to come back and win this series on four and ice. Well, we'll be back with some final comments. The final score, the New York Islanders 4, the Boston Bruins 2, the series score, the Islanders 4 games to 1. We'll be back in a moment. Tim Ryan and Ed Westfall here at the Boston Garden, and uh, Eddie certainly uh, to carry into the next series for the Islanders. The kind of victory they had here tonight has got to be a tremendous shot in the arm. Well, it is. Uh, the series only going five games is a shot in the arm in itself, Tim. But the way they won the game, I thought, was encouraging to the whole team and the management also. They knew that the Bruins had had a tough series. Uh, they let up on them last night. Tonight, they came out and did the opposite. In the third period, they took the play to the Bruins. They did the kind of things that, that created the goal chances for them. They went in and checked them. They put pressure on them in their own end they befuddled them and the almost impenetrable Cheevers finally had to give way to something and Clark Gilly's goal a uh, big goal for the Islanders was the one that did it but uh, just I think the tactics that the Islanders used were important uh, they played a good sound checking game it was a little slow to get started but they built it and they kept coming back stronger and stronger and tiring the already tired Bruins well, well Cheevers uh, had himself another great night in goal for Boston. Billy Smith came up with some key saves, particularly in the third period. No question. Uh, two and a two, one in particular on Park. That would have put Boston back in the hockey game. He just out and out stole it away from Park. Park thought he had him beat, but Billy had waited. His timing was perfect again, and he made that particular save, which, again, the Islanders came bouncing back a little from that. That was an encouraging thing for them, but they really had the game in good grasp by then. Well, we will see you uh, Saturday night somewhere, the way things stand right now, either Philadelphia or Bo Philadelphia or Buffalo. And, uh, of course, we don't know where we're going to be, but that would figure to be the first game uh, in uh, one of those two cities on Saturday night. So uh, we'll probably see you then somewhere. For Eddie Westfall, I'm Tim Ryan saying good night from the Boston Garden.